Yo, what up YouTube? It's Rain. The ma 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 mask with a very quick video. Well, I'm gonna try and make it a quick video. Uh, AliExpress. A lot of people ask me about AliExpress and how to use it, what the do's and don'ts, and yada yada yada. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is I need to shout out Don Kaby Rudy and Sneaker Cat because they showed me about AliExpress. If you look on their channels, Don K Ruler and Sneaker Cat. Um, basically, they've got videos on their channels telling you, I believe, how to use AliExpress. So, if you don't get your answer from my video, you will get it from their video. Not their video. Anyway, in a nutshell, AliExpress, here it is. Now, I don't know if, you, if anybody knew, but this, I think this website used to be called Alibaba, or it's linked to Alibaba. Now, I don't know if anyone knows about Alibaba, the story, Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't want to use this website was because Alibaba is a thief, and I thought the website might thief my money, but it doesn't. Anyway, in a nutshell, you log in, um, high rain, that's me, um, and then you're able to start shopping. <coughs> now, shopping in regards to um, AliExpress is a lot, it's not, it's different to, to, to how you may shop on um, Gumtree or how you may shop on, um, what's that website called? eBay. This website does it should not promote fake items, but it does. I'll prove the point. When you type in Jordan Jordan 4, <coughs> so it should come up with a list or a few. Well, so certainly can't with the right ones. But um so these are sellers. Now Jordan 4 is a popular trainer, right? <coughs> so if you scroll down, look. So on the whole of AliExpress apparently there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sellers selling Jordans. That is absolute bullshit. Now, the reason or how you get around this is you, you violate your search. So, I guess you could type in what it's got here Jordan 4, Air Jordan, Jordan shoes. What I found though is if you just type in J4, I think Sneaker Cat told me this. You hit your enter button, boom, scan. It comes up with a wealth of information. Look at these bitches, look. They're selling, I'm gonna use this as an example. So these are the black hats that everyone's kind of talking about. But anyway, look, so you can see there's a lot more sellers selling Jordans. Um, <laughs> and if you want to leave, <laughs> but anyway. Um, and it's one of those ones where, <clears throat> it's a bit like the Matrix, how deep does the rabbit hole go? You click on one seller, you might get a link to another seller, but you've got to keep searching and keep searching and keep searching and keep searching and keep searching until you find what you want. Anyway, moving on from that, if you find something that you want to buy, one of the key things to look out for is the seller and the seller ratings. So you need to look at how much orders that this person's had or the seller's had. So this seller apparently has had none. This one's had 13 and he's had some good feedback. So I'm going to use this one as the example. So if I click on him, it will open up into his store. Now, the parts you need to be concerned, or one of the main important parts is when you're buying something from AliExpress is one, these pictures. So, are they real? Secondly, you need to be looking at the buyer feedback and the medals. So, the medals are an indication of how much they've sold and if they're reliable. So, apparently 490 people have bought from this seller and he has feedback of 92%. Um, and I'm going to click on the feedback. So if I go into the detail of the feedback, it basically breaks it down um, and tells you what people rated this seller highly for or badly for. So communication, 4.3. Shipping speed, 4.1. Item as described, which is quite an important line, 4.4. So this is quite a safe seller to use. Do not use this seller. I'm just saying it's a safe seller to use based on what I'm seeing here. Now, if I scroll down, you've got some, it tells you, kind of like eBay, all of the positive comments, positive, neutral comments, and negative comments. So, let's look at the negative comments, for example. Let's see what this shit says. So, the negative comments, so without communication, the consignment has not been sent at all. I was waiting a long time. The shoes are very poor quality, blah, blah, blah. Detached after three days. Shit! <laughs> so, you need to explore. That's the moral of this story. You need to explore and you need to read. <clears throat> and this is why I have to respect people who review stuff on AliExpress and give the links out to people. 
I have to respect them because it takes a lot of time to go through, talk, find out about the items, uh, um, and uh, and then order it, and then review it, and then tell the masses, yeah, this is a safe seller to use. So shouts out to everyone that uses AliExpress. Big up your status, and all of you that actually share your links. Big up your status. And if you don't, I totally understand why you don't, because hard work, hard graft. Anyway, now. I'm going to try and use a different seller for what I'm going to do next. So what it is, is that once you've ironed out that you want to buy something, you need to basically contact the seller. This seller's not online. But what you can do is you can just hit them up, boom, contact now. It opens up a box, and the box might sit, and in the box you put everything you want to know. So you might put, do you have pictures of the item? Boom. Are these real or fake can I get a good price discounting discounting yeah sick me <laughs> you can tell you can tell whatever shit you want to type in there um, and then basically you um, just send it boom send and then this guy will obviously reply when he um, when he logs back on. Some sellers are on 24/7, some are not. But it is very important that you make contact with the seller, um, have a conversation, and just see if it's, if if it doesn't feel right, don't buy it. That's what I say. Um, but again, even though this is safer than using a website, it is still a bloody risk. Anyway, moving on. So you've made your contact, you've decided that you want to buy the thing. If you're going to buy the thing, you just basically, basically have to pay. So I'm going to go to my orders. Hopefully it doesn't bring up my name and address or nothing like that. So let's just say... Um, thing. So this basketball top, um, I ordered it actually. Let's not use that. I need to use something that I haven't paid for. So awaiting payment. So I click on awaiting payment. Um, so I've got this awaiting payment. So I don't know. I don't even know what that was. But let me just go to pay now. Um, I'm just going to show you this briefly. Um, you can basically use a card, a credit card, or your bank card, or whatever it might be. You can use Western Union as well online, um, but you can use your card. So if you use a Mastercard, you're protected against internet fraud, even though there is pro um, there is protection here. But anyway, they ain't got my card because I use an American Express. Um, <coughs> so whatever so you click on it enter in your details um, and then boom scan the thing will be winging its way to you so confirm order payment then it will just go to done I'm not going to show you all that because you need to do that yourself right so what you see from here is um, after you've paid you get a tracking number um, let me just try and get so you get yeah, so basically you've paid uh, and it says the seller has shipped to you, you get your order number, and your, your purchase protection will end on, on that time or that date. I'm going to do a separate, actually, if you want me to do a video in regards to purchase protection, ask me, oh no, don't ask me, just like this video. If I get more than 10 likes, more than 15 likes, I will do a video in regards to purchase protection, and I will do a live dispute. Anyway, so I've ordered this from my deal. Um, it's on its way, basically. I get a tracking number, um, and it tells me all of the details I need to know. Um, this updates every so often when there's a movement, but you can go in and check. So, awesome. It, it, like, it is a good website. It's one that you need to play around with. Is it safe? It's safe because you can do your, you can do the, you can dispute stuff. But, last word, you just need to be, like, nothing is 100% safe. Like there, there, there's, there's a 50, there's a there's a 95 percent chance that you can walk out on road today and be killed. 95 percent chance? No, is that 95 percent? Oh no, no, sorry, turn that around. There's a five percent chance that you can walk out on road and be killed. So nothing is 100 percent safe. You get me? You just got to take the risk. All of this is just a risk. The whole thing is a risk. Anyway, hopefully this video was informational, insightful. Don't forget to like the video. Um, I will do a dispute video if you guys want to see it. So you need to give me 15 likes. Um, Rain the mask. Signing. Ah.